When we say there's no regression, which means you can't fall back from the furthest place that you've expanded to, that's true of every vibration. No vibration ever becomes less. Every vibration continues to become more, which only serves to create this more perfect environment of potential from which to choose. That's why you want to be a deliberate creator, able to focus your thoughts in the direction that you want so that you can choose from this plethora of possibilities that which your inner being is in agreement with, which is the positive energy of all of it. And only that when you focus upon what you don't want, your inner being does not because every subject is two subjects. There's two ends of the stick. So when you focus upon what you don't want, there's another end of the stick that lights up, which is where your inner being gives attention. So when you give birth to a desire that resonates with your inner being, that's where your inner being is. And your inner being never looks back. So your inner being never spends any time justifying your desire. Let's just switch it up just a little bit. And instead of thinking about what we're thinking about, let's start thinking about what we're feeling. So if you let the distraction be, I want to feel good. I want to feel good. I want to feel good. It's an easier switch because your inner being is thinking about what you want to think about. And it doesn't take very much of you thinking about how good it would feel to think about what you want to think about to hook in to what your inner being is thinking about. And then you're off and running. There's two sides to every equation. There's unwanted and wanted. And every time a subject comes up, it really is like a long stick with both ends on it. And when you step into a situation, you're somewhere along the spectrum of that stick from all the way not wanted to all the way wanted and something in between. So when you hold knowledge that this is just a vibration, like a musical scale almost, and that you could pick any note that you want to, and that your inner being has already picked the note, and you just think about what that note sounds like or what that note feels like, then instead of sorting it out any further, if you understand that you've already sorted it out and you've already launched the rocket and your inner being has already got hold of it, and now your work is simple, just feel your way to it. Then before you know it, you're in alignment with your inner being and the progression of that positive thought then starts flowing into your mind. That's why we call it the receiving mode. For a while we were saying to you, so you've created this vortex and now you got to get in it. You got to get in there. And you didn't really like the idea of that. We wrote two books about it, trying to convince you <laughs> that if you would just get in there, that you'd feel so much better, but it felt odd to you. How do I get into something I can't even see? We said, feel your way in. Oh, thanks a lot, Abraham. That's really helpful. <laughs> but we wanted you to understand the concept of it. And so then we came to helping you to realize that there's a vibrational frequency there that is full of ideas and full of a path to everything you want full of impulses and ideas and paths and rendezvous and the exhilaration of life that anything you want can manifest right before your eyes with you right in on every step of it, which is just the way you like it, but that you've got to be in the receiving mode, which means you've got to be in the vibrational vicinity of what's in your vortex, which means since your vortex is a very high frequency because there's no resistance within it, you've got to allow your own vibration to rise. And when you do, then what's in your vortex flows into your mind ideas and impulses and once you get into that mode where an idea flows and you follow it and you see the payoff so you understand that what you did was you quieted your mind enough that you allowed your vibration to rise because when you were not perpetuating a lower vibration then a higher vibration just took over because that's what's natural just like when you let go of the cork it will float when you let go of your vibration it will rise and then when you start receiving ideas then you understand ah that's the receiving mode that's what it feels like to be in the receiving mode of my vortex. That's what it feels like to be in such concert with my inner being that in snatches of time, I know what my inner being knows. That's really what Esther demonstrates when she allows us to flow through her. She's demonstrating the receiving mode of being in such 
perfect sync with the vibration of Abraham that what we know in the moment of our knowing is her knowing and it's so complete that she can find words that are as perfect as her vocabulary will allow them and sequence of words that will convey to you what we mean we want to remind you of some things you knew when you made the decision to come we want to remind you that the law of attraction abounds and we want to remind you of the power of your own thought and we want to help you to understand a very important concept which is the path of least resistance and by that we mean there is a current of energy that comes from source that is on your side that adores you and flows to you and through you that is the basis of all of the good that life can bring to you it comes from source energy it's an awareness of source energy upon you and your value your true perfection it's source energy who adores you and who flows to you and through you and when you get in alignment with that flow that is the ultimate path of least resistance it's the flow of love it's the flow of clarity it's the flow of well-being it's the flow of good feeling it's the flow of joy it is the path of least resistance and so love is the path of least resistance and hate is the path of most resistance ease is the path of least resistance and struggle is the path of most resistance and so clarity is the path of least resistance and confusion is more resistance you see what we are getting at so as you came into this physical body you knew that part of you was being focused into this body and you knew that this part of you that came into this human form would be subjecting yourself to a variety that did contain resistance and you came willingly and expectantly and eagerly because you also knew that the larger part of you some call it your soul your inner being some call it source or God we call it your inner being this non-physical energy of perfection and of expansion continually becoming more you knew that that part of you would remain non-physically focused and would be steadily flowing to you and that if you were in a receptive mode you would be able to feel that clarity and that energy and that love and you knew that in doing that you would enjoy your expansion so you said I'll go forth with other humans and I will explore the variety and out of my personal and important exploration I will come to my own conclusions about what I prefer in other words the universe will expand because of my attention and focus and when a preference emanates from me or radiates from me vibrationally as all thought does that thought will be understood by my inner being and will be focused upon by my inner being will absolutely and actually be held in a vibrational environment in other words my inner being will receive my desire will understand it and will become it and will hold the vibrational essence of it and because my inner being is part of me and because my inner being has now received my expansive desire now there is a relationship that I have a vibrational relationship that I have with my inner being that I can interpret or understand or feel through my own emotions so when I'm really going with the flow of what life has shown me that I prefer newly and my inner being understands it and embraces it and holds the frequency of it when I go with the flow of those ideas I feel that life force that is only present when I'm fully allowing who I really am to be who I really am but if I give birth to a desire but instead of going with the flow of it I hold myself in resistance of it because I'm looking at the environment that caused me to desire it rather than the desire itself in other words I want more money but I don't have enough and if I continue to focus upon the lack of money while my inner being is focusing upon the abundance of money 
then I'm holding myself in vibrational opposition to my new decision and I'm not going with the flow. And my not going with the flow is a path of more resistance. While my going with the flow is a path of more resistance, of more allowance. Resistance doesn't feel good, allowance feels good. And so that's really what we want to talk about, that and the law of attraction and your relationship with source energy and the fact that you can be or do or have anything. We want to show you how to understand your emotional guidance system and how to focus in a way that allows you to be less resistant more of the time and more allowing more of the time and therefore more joyful more of the time more in control of your own life more of the time more loving toward others more supportive of others more uplifting for others more of the energy that creates worlds rather than the energy that holds the creation back just a little bit and the thing is you can't hold the creation back you can just make yourself miserable trying because once a desire is born it's off and running because that's what you said you were here about so briefly we just want to remind you that there is a creative process that once you get in sync with it you will find such success at flow and ease and becoming in the way that you really mean to don't you just love that that's why you're here the thoughts that you find along your trail can evolve right before your eyes into the things that you prefer but so often humans don't let the thoughts that are in their vortex evolve because you're too busy looking at the things you've already got which are opposite of the things you want so you want to distract yourself from the things you've got so that you can allow the things you want okay things I've got I don't want to think about you anymore you think I don't want to think about not enough money I'm not gonna think about not enough money anymore because thinking about not enough money doesn't get me any more money and I want more money but I'm not gonna think about not having enough money but I don't have enough money and most of the people I know don't have enough money hardly anybody has enough money there's never been any money in my family I'm doing it again I'm doing it again I don't have enough money the bills come and it reminds me I don't have enough money and I want to go somewhere and I can't go and it reminds me I don't have enough money so life keeps reminding me that I don't have enough money so how am I supposed supposed to think about having enough money when I don't have enough money <laughs> well you got to think about something else you got to take money out of the equation for a little while and that's not an easy thing in this environment where everything costs something you just got to let the abundance flow to you well how do you know you're doing it you find snatches of feeling good we're gonna give you an analogy you may have heard it before think about being on a hill Esther thinks about the one in San Francisco the mini in San Francisco where she's at this hill and she can see this roller coaster of a road going down into the bay so put your car at the top of that hill and take the car out of gear and take the brake off and then give yourself a lesson in physics and push your car just a little bit to see what will happen just nudge it a little bit well pretty quick you become pretty aware of what's going to happen with your beautiful car so usually you come to your senses before too much momentum happens and you step out in front of your car and you let it bump up against you and it stops because you caught it early but you wouldn't want to be at the bottom of the bay bottom of the hill trying to stop that car you wouldn't stop it your action would not be enough to stop that momentum same idea with thought you want to catch them early your thoughts are turning to things all around you all the time but you have more control than most of you exercise about whether it's thoughts that you want turning into things or thoughts that you don't want because you are a pointer and where you point is where you go you don't want to just look at what you've got or you can't get anything more than what you've got you get that you got to look beyond what you've got and that's the thing that most of you have to overcome first that's why more people focus negatively than positively because the positive stuff is still in the state of becoming and they can't see it so it doesn't feel real that's the best conversation we've ever had about the evolution of thoughts turning to things